Hey everybody, Brady here. I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to purchase an ENS name using MyEtherWallet.com. First thing you're going to want to do, of course, is make sure you are on the correct URL. If it is MyEtherWallet.com and not anything else, you are good to go to move forward. Uh, you will need an Ethereum wallet with a little bit of Ethereum in it to be able to complete this transaction. You could also use MyEtherWallet.com itself or MetaMask, Parity, or whatever your wallet of choice is. If you're ready to go and you have those things all set, go ahead and click ENS. Now type in the name that you would like. If it's available, go ahead and log into your wallet. In this case, we'll be using MetaMask. If you're ready to go, Go ahead and click start the auction. You will need to save this information. Uh, I recommend taking a screenshot or a picture with your phone. Your reveal date will be between these two dates. If you don't come back between these two dates, then you will lose your Ethereum. So be sure to come back right between those dates and you should be good to go. Once you've stored this information in a secure place and taken a screenshot, go ahead and click yes I am sure make the transaction. And go ahead and click submit. And you will want to double check your transaction to make sure that it is going through. If everything looks okay, you should be fine. They do give you a second chance to save this information, so if you haven't already done so, please do save this because you will lose your deposit if you do not. Um, specifically, you need everything in this box here, but you'll want to save this as well so you know when your reveal date is as well. And you will need your secret phrase. So go ahead and save that information, and that's it. You will need to come back here between these reveal dates to be able to claim your ENS name. Okay, now on to step two. After a few days has passed and your reveal date is up, go ahead and come back to the ENS website, which would be myetherwallet.com slash pound ENS. And you're going to go ahead and type your name in again. So type the name in, click check ENS name, and log in with the same wallet you did previously. And you're going to go ahead and paste in your information. and click reveal your bid. If everything's ready to go, go ahead and click yes I am sure, make transaction. If you were late for the reveal date, your deposit would be destroyed. If you're on time and you are the winning bid, it would be transferred into the deed. And if you were the losing bid, it would be transferred back to you. So if everything's good to go, go ahead and click submit. Go ahead and check this transaction to make sure that everything goes through. And as long as everything confirms, you're good to go. Okay, we're on to the final stage of the ENS bidding process. And we're going to finalize our bid now. So go ahead and type in your name again. And click check ENS name. And now it says that it is already owned, so go ahead and log in with your wallet. Be sure it's the same one you used previously. Now we just need to finalize the auction. It says you're about to finalize the auction and claim this name. Are you sure you want to do this? Click yes, I am sure. Go ahead and make the transaction and double check this transaction and make sure it goes through. You'll just want to make sure that it confirms and if it does confirm you are the proud owner of your new ENS name. And that's it we got our first confirmation there so it looks like we're good to go now. 
And that's about it. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to me on Slack. My name is Brady. Uh, you can also reach me on Telegram and Reddit. Uh, feel free to ask any questions if you need any more help. Uh, have a good day, everybody.